I have three fun beach themed wood projects for you today. Welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica. Thanks for joining me. Today is the What Would You Make Challenge, where we make DIY projects from wood, hosted by my sweet friends, Zaina of OK at Home and Connie of Connie's Woodshop and DIYs. Our guest host this month is Krista of Krista's Crafty Life. Here's a look at what I'm making today. Let's get into it. So this project is actually what inspired me to make all of the projects beach themed. I had a request for a Mama and Pops beach bums, so I've cut my sign from quarter inch pine and the charms are MDF. I cut them into surfboard and flip-flop shapes. And I have to say that the Beach Bum sign is one of my best sellers. I'm going to give my sign two coats of wet acrylic paint. Each of the charms will be a different color. I'm starting with the flip-flops, which represents the granddaughters, and I'm using Americana bubblegum to base coat. Once that's done, I'll paint in the straps with Americana Royal Fuchsia, and I paint the sides with the Royal Fuchsia too. And also, I do give the straps at least two coats. There are three boys, so I'll paint each of the surfboards a different color, and I'll list the colors in the description box for you. I also made two extra charms for future grandchildren, a purple flip-flop and a yellow surfboard. I was having issues with my camera randomly shutting off, so I didn't catch me dotting the flip-flops, but I used all of the colors of the surfboards for the dots to tie everything together. I'll give each surfboard a coordinating stripe in the center. And now you know I'm using my floating medium and ceramic coat watermelon to shade the pink flip-flop. The pink corner of my brush is where I want the darkest shadow. And I'm going to float around the straps and the perimeter of the flip-flops. Now if you'd like more information on how I shade, I do have a shading video and I'll link it below. It goes into greater detail about how to load your brush, etc. I think sometimes I feel like a broken record repeating it each and every time I use the technique. But you know what? If you'd like me to do it each and every time, drop it in the comments and let me know if you prefer that I give you a full description of loading the brush each time or if you're cool with me skipping it every now and then. Now I'm going to shade the perimeter of each surfboard. I use the color of the stripe to shade the surfboard, uh, except on the orange board. Since that was a yellow stripe, I used burnt orange to shade the orange board. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Basically, you just want a color that's slightly darker than your base color. Now I paint a white horizontal stripe right across the center of the charm. This is where the kids' names will go. Okay, now let's do the sign. I shade the edge of the sign first with Ceram Coat Tropic Bay Blue, and then again with Bittersweet Orange. Can I just tell you that my allergies have been wicked? I feel like I'm constantly clearing my throat. Ugh, so annoying. And here I'm coming in with the bittersweet orange, laying it down next to the turquoise. The, um, the color combination of orange and turquoise is one of my favorite, especially for summer. And I really like the way the two colors blend. I used my silhouette to cut my mom and pop's beach bums from teal vinyl, and I cut wee anchors for the corners too. I used to do all this by hand, hand painting it. This is so much better. I do like to hand paint lettering sometimes, but you know what? The silhouette, awesome. I'm using a liner brush and bittersweet orange to add a drop shadow to the lettering and to the anchors. I'm keeping it to the left of the letters, and I'm also keeping it light and subtle.
This is another one of those things where I'm never really sure how much of it to show you. I really just want to give you a general idea and, you know, let you take it from there. So, we'll bounce ahead. And again, you can drop it in the comments whether you want to see it all or if you like the way I do it when I just show you a little bit of it. I appreciate any feedback on that. I'll apply the kids' names to the charms. I've got them from the teal vinyl as well. This font is called Chickweed Tilting. I'll list the fonts for you too. I thought this font had like the perfect retro beachy flavor. I've sprayed all the pieces with clear matte sealer and now I'll assemble. I drill a hole dead center at the top of the sign for the hanger and four holes along the bottom to hang the charms. I'll also drill holes in the charms as well. I've snipped about 18 inches of 19 gauge craft wire from my hanger. I twist it around a paint bottle to make a loop. I'll give it five or six twists, then I'll thread a few beads onto the wire before twisting the rest of the wire all the way down. And actually, I don't think I go all the way down on this. I think I make it a little shorter. Yeah, there you go. I think I only did another five or six twists at the bottom. And now I'm just going to push the wire through the hole and twist it around itself on the back. I clipped off all the extra wire and using needle nose pliers to close it up. I also cut wire about four inches long for each charm and I'll hook the charms into place. And that's it. We're done. So here it is all finished. I do love this one. Next up, Surf Shack. So I base coat this Dollar Tree wood round with a couple of coats of white. I cut and applied a vinyl stencil of waves, which I'll pounce over with Mod Podge to prevent the paint from bleeding beneath the vinyl. To make this stencil, I googled wave clip art, and then I sized it in Silhouette Studio to fit my wood circle. I realize it's difficult to see because the vinyl's white, but once the paint goes on, you'll be able to see it much better. Actually, I had trouble seeing it when I was applying the Mod Podge. Once it's dry, I'll paint in the bottom half with Tahiti Blue, and I'm giving that two coats. I'll remove the vinyl before the paint is totally dry so that the paint doesn't come up with the vinyl. You know what I mean? You feel me? And you know what I'm like. I wanted this to have a 60s beach vibe, so I cut my lettering alternating orange and turquoise vinyl. This is the horseshoe and lemonade font. It already has the blocks with the letters in the center, so it made quick and easy work of this. I'll apply my turquoise letters, then I'm going to add the orange in between. For the bottom lettering, I added white vinyl rectangles behind the color vinyl so that the letters would also have a white background. This project was a lot of fun to watch it come together. Right, okay, so we'll get that on there. Yeah, look at that. That's definitely got a 60s vibe. And I'm going to trim the edge with some of that Dollar Tree nautical rope. And I'll cut it to size and hot glue it in place along the rim. Oh, there's my hubs bringing me my cup of tea. He's so thoughtful. He makes the best tea too. One of his many, many talents. Right, we're just gonna finish this off here and I'll cut off that extra.
And now I'm going to add some more hot glue there. Make those two pieces meet. I'm going to take that wee scrap of rope that was left over, tie a knot in it, and glue it right there to hide where those two rope ends meet. I didn't add a hanger to this because I'm going to place magnets on the back so that I can attach it to my interchangeable pizza pan. I'll link that video for you too. Here it is in all its retro googiness, and here it is on the pan. Really cute, right? I'm digging it. This project's really fun and really quick and really affordable. So I grab one of those three packs of Dollar Tree blocks and I'm going to paint one side of each block white and then the rest of the block I'll paint with Tahiti Blue. I lightly dry brush the edges of the blocks with uh, Tropic Bay Blue and then I'll do it again with Bittersweet Orange just to pull all those colors in. You know, as I do. I'm going to pull two pair of glasses from this Dollar Tree Mini Woodcuts pack and paint them orange as well. We're going to use those to decorate the sides. So while those dry, let's work on the surface. I found this clip art and I altered the colors in Photoshop to match my palette. I also added beach bum to the door and I printed it on cardstock. Now I'll use a glue stick to attach it to this blue cardstock to give it some, you know, extra body. And then we'll cut it out. I just get it lined up there and hit it with my brayer and cut it out. I love making little deals like this. They're so quick and easy, really super affordable, and they pack a great punch. Also, awesome for tear trays. You can make them really as big or as little as you want. Uh, I just think they're really cute. And they make really great party favors too, or even party decorations. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> Let's add some glitter for kicks. Think of you, Dawn. Dawn over at Shabby Meets Bling loves the glitter. Be sure to check out the awesome projects she made for this collab. She's super talented and outrageously creative. Okay, so I'm adding some Tropic Bay dots to the bus and I'm shaking on some glamour dust to give it a wee something something. Let's add some to the wheels too. I cut the word fun from orange vinyl, which I'll apply to the white sides of each block. I'm adding glittery dots to the blocks too with Tropic Bay, Bittersweet Orange, and Tahiti Blue, and then hitting them with the Glamour Dust. I don't know, there's something about polka dots that just are so much fun. You know what I mean? It's like, reminds me of confetti, and bubbles, and parties. Summer, it's all good. I will affix the blocks together with both wood glue and hot glue. Whoops. Almost jacked that up. That would have been tragic. I painted two Dollar Tree mini cubes and I'm gluing them to the top of the blocks so I can attach the bus. They'll be hidden behind the bus's wheels. Just using hot glue to attach the bus. And look at this, how cute. Made some crepe paper festooning and coordinating colors, which I'll glue around the top of the blocks. 
you can find a link below to see how he made the festooning too. You know, I got a video for that. All that's left to do is to glue the sunglasses to the sides. And as always, I've sprayed it all with clear matte sealer. I love the way this turned out. I think that is so stinking cute. Fun. Let's take a final look at our projects. Vroom vroom. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed them. I love the beach, and I love creating retro pieces. So... Thought it would be fun to combine the two. Thanks to Zaina and Connie for hosting, and to Krista for guest hosting. Links to their channels are in the description box, along with the playlist and my supply list. I always have trouble saying that. My list of supplies. <laughs> Head over to the playlist and show everyone some love. You'll be so happy that you did. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. We have lots of fun collabs coming up, so hit the bell icon so you can get notifications. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.